welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today in this video we are going to talk about falling value of rupee it's a comprehensive video which is going to talk about all the concepts which leads to increase in the value of rupee so if you have clicked to watch this video be rest assured you have reached a channel that will give you a treasure of knowledge daily that's a promise so please subscribe and become a lifetime learner thanks for subscribing our channel so let us see in why exactly is this a news now recently the indian rupee weakened past the 71 mark for the first time ever now how can rbi control foreign exchange rates and why is it that indian rupee is falling continuously now 71 is the maximum fall which the rupee has recorded now buying and selling bonds is like increasing and decreasing currency supply in the market and this can be done by rbi so rbi is the authority in the country which can control the fluctuations in the currency now foreign sea current foreign currency reserves trade in open market who have varying domestic interest rate now absorbing the inflowing foreign exchange which is foreign exchange non repatriable account fcnr deposit which is in dollar in nri accounts in indian banks into its reserve to build buffer that can be used to support the local currency if there is a sudden outflow of capital or sudden depreciation so this is a measure which rbi can take it in it can absorb the inflowing foreign currency in nri accounts in indian banks into its reserves to build a buffer there can also be currency swap agreements with other countries for example india has entered into currency swap with japan if there is too much of foreign capital infusion in india supply of dollar will increase relatively to the demand and rupee will appreciate with reference to dollar now which is not good for competitiveness of exports thus rbi will purchase dollar from the forex market so i hope you get this point if there is lot of foreign exchange dollars coming in india it will increase the demand of dollar and rupee will appreciate with respect to dollar which is not good actually for exports so in order to restrict rbi will purchase dollars from the forex market now but the high selling of rupee will create excess liquidity in the market and has the potential of creating inflation here rbi issues market sterilization bonds to absorb excess utility in the system also rbi can control the money outflow by increasing the interest rates now what are the reasons for falling rupee now pulling out of foreign portfolio investors who were expecting us interest rates to go up making us treasury bonds more attractive trade war between china and us leading to greater number of import restrictions with high tariffs also called dollar to appreciate rising global crude prices due to concerns around us sanctions on iran and crisis in venezuela fears of deglobalization have also soured the global risk sentiment and dampened the outlook for emerging market assets so what is the impact of falling rupee now imports will become expensive and will drive inflation upwards further hurting the investor sentiments as well as now high fuel prices have a direct bearing on the non food parts of consumer price index <coughs> and wholesale price index inflation current account deficit as well as physical deficit so increasing competitiveness of exports will boost make in india the value of remittances in bank accounts in india rises and it will boost tourism in india as well so what are the steps taken by the government <clears throat> enabling more companies to raise external commercial borrowings manufacturing firms can get external commercial borrowing up to 50 million 
with minimum maturity of 1 year as compared to earlier 3 years. Masala bonds issued in 2018-19 are exempted from withholding tax along with further easing of curbs on marketing underwriting of masala bonds. Now RBI increased the limit of foreign portfolio investors to buy government securities and corporate bonds. RBI has relaxed its rules on foreign portfolio investors holding of corporate bonds by allowing foreign portfolio investors to have an exposure of more than 20% of its corporate bond portfolio to a single corporate. Now what are masala bonds? It is rupee denominated bond issued to foreign buyers. Currency risk lies with the investor. Indian companies, non-banking financial companies, infrastructure investment trust and real investment trust can issue the bonds with ceiling imposed on maximum worth of issuance and pricing cap for various tenures. It will make rupee more lucrative in the international market and it is a step towards full convertibility of rupee. Now what is withholding tax? Tax levied on income which includes interest and dividends from securities owned by a non-resident entity. Intends to check the volatile trading in equity and bond markets. So what are some of the long-term solutions? Reduce heavy dependence on imports including oil, cut down imports of non-essential items. Boost export industries through easier tax refund, improving logistics and export terminals, better trade deals etc. Attract FDI instead of FPI through simplification of procedures, laws and dispute redressal. Maintain limit on deficit, although India's physical position has improved in recent years. Compared to peers, the combined deficit of center and state is still on the higher side. And if you have reached at the end of this video, be rest assured, you have reached a channel that will give you a similar treasure of knowledge daily. That's a promise, so please subscribe and become a lifetime learner of this channel. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.